Hey, what's up everyone? Today we'll be starting a new Full Olo Made Easy video series. So if you don't already know, I already have a Full Olo Made Easy video series on the channel, but those videos were recorded quite a few years ago and they are one of the first videos on this channel. That being said, I feel like it is time to make an updated video on Full Olo. Some of my algorithms have been changed and also I've structured it in a way that hopefully makes it easier for you guys to learn these algorithms as well. So without any further ado, let's get started. I also want to mention that I assume you already know how to do two look OLO and so in these videos I'm going to go straight into the full OLO cases. So starting with the T cases, there are two different T cases as you can see here. As the name suggests, it has a T shape on the top layer, and as you can see, that is the same in both cases. So with the T cases, for both of them, we want to hold the cube so that the T is rotated to the right, like this, so that you have the T in this orientation. Both the algorithms will apply to this orientation. The first T case I'll want to talk about is this one here. It is recognized by the yellow stickers around the side being kind of spread out, as you can see, they're not attached to each other like in this case. Another way to recognize it is the headlights over here on the left side. So headlights would just be pairs of matching corner colors. In this case, we do not have headlights on the left. So the algorithm for this case is actually very straightforward. A lot of you might recognize this from Tuluk Olo or maybe even the beginner's method. And it's very straightforward. It goes like this. So it starts off with an F, sexy, followed by an F prime, and that's it. All right, now moving over to the other T case. Once again, we wanna hold the T so that it's rotated over here, 90 degrees like this. One of the two by one bars on the side facing you, the other one will of course be facing the back. Once again, this one does not have headlights, so it's a different algorithm. Once again, a very simple algorithm though. So in this case, the algorithm goes like this, so you start with a sexy, followed by a sledge. Or you can focus on this F12 pair, inserting it into this slot here with a sledgehammer. And that solves that case. So next OLO cases that I want to talk about are these squares. So they're called squares because the yellow on top form these two by two squares on the corners, like so. So as you can see, there are two square cases as shown in front of you right now. And it can be a bit confusing because they are mirrors of each other. And so the recognition technique that I use for these cases is actually to hold both squares so that they're on the right side of the cube in a way that the single corner is also facing the right. So for this case, if I hold it this way, the square will still be on the right side of the cube, but that single yellow sticker is no longer facing the right. So we want to always hold it so that the square and the single yellow sticker is on the right. Same with the other case as well. And so it's important to hold it like this in this orientation because both algorithms are done from this angle. So the easiest way to learn the algorithms for these square cases is to actually look at the algorithms we use for the soon because they are very similar. In this case, you can kind of see the similarities between the two. If I cover up these two yellow colors here, they kind of look the same from this angle. And that's because the algorithms that you use for both of these cases are really similar. So there's a few ways to solve this soon case, but I want to emphasize this particular algorithm to solve this case. So it goes like this. So I wanted to show that because the algorithm to solve this case is extremely similar to the algorithm that I just shown. The only difference is that the first move and the final move is a wide R move rather than a single layer R move. So it goes like this. And the same technique can be used to solve the mirror case of that previous case that I just shown. So once again, don't forget, yellow square on the right side, the single yellow color also facing the right side. And so in this case, if we cover up these two yellow colors here, they kind of look similar from this angle. 
And that's because we also use a similar variation of the soon algorithm for that case. So in this case, one way to solve this soon is to go like this. Not the most common way for that case, but it is definitely a valid way to solve that case. And so moving back to this case, once again, the same variation can be applied. So the first move and the final move is going to be wide R moves rather than the single layer R moves. So the algorithm would look something like this. All right, so that'll be it for the OLO algorithms for this video. I didn't want to put too many cases in each video because I don't want to overwhelm you guys with a bunch of algorithms. By far the biggest tip that I can give you guys in terms of learning full OLO is to not rush the process and take your time. There's really no need to learn like four or five algorithms a day. It's important to pace yourselves and to actually practice these algorithms in actual solves. That way you'll actually find it more efficient to learn these algorithms and you'll find that you won't be relearning algorithms that you've already learned. That being said, I do appreciate everyone watching these videos and supporting this channel. If you have any questions regarding anything in this video, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can also message me on social media. Links to those will also be in the video description. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.